So with the race today only starting at 1.30, it meant there was absolutely no rush this morning. After a pretty chilled morning of consuming copious amounts of coffee and food, it was time to leave. All right, this is it, day one. Okay. Stage one, race number one of the Plange de Vendée 2019. <laughs> How was that pronunciation? Shit. <laughs> Plange Vendée. I'm nervous. I've, I've missed this pre-race nervous thing. I've not had it for six months. Oh, okay. I think we need to address an issue here. First race of the season, so you know I'm willing to let it slide, but black shoes and black socks. We've got... Uh, hold on, I'll go and show you the <laughs> Yeah, why are you not wearing them? Uh, I don't know. Black uh, shoes don't have cleats yet. We got a rule on this team. White shoes only. Mate, just relax yourself. You're looking a little bit tense, a little bit nervous. I'm so zen, man. So chilled. Been in this game a long time. How are you feeling, Ollie? First race of the season? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah, I'm bad, I'm bad. Yeah. Sun's out. Sun's out, legs are out. What are the, sen what are the sensations saying? So I count five times the pass and come back. Celebrations, yeah. hopefully. <laughs> Chocolate celebrations. Alfie's there getting his picture taken. The first race of the year is always a little bit of an unknown. It really is a baptism of fire. It's the first time with the first indication we get to see of the form and it gives us a bit of an idea as to how well the winter has gone. Unfortunately, I don't have someone here with me 24 seven to film the race. So instead of some like awesome, cool race montage, we're gonna head back to Calpe and see what Monica has been up to today. And that is day one done and dusted. Uh, the race was, like I said, 140 kilometers. It was an average speed of 45K today. Uh, in terms of average power, it was like 275, so not the hardest of days. Uh, I thought the race was gonna split. The race didn't really split too much. I thought it was gonna split more than it did, but the reason it didn't is because, for a start, it's completely flat around here. Uh, and, you know, it's notoriously windy, but today there wasn't much wind. I think it peaked at like 10K an hour, so. You know, there's no real sort of gutter crosswind action, uh, which didn't really make it that hard to sit in the like to sit in the wheels. The pace was still high, so off the front it was hard, but being in the wheels, you know, it wasn't that hard to be there. A few guys in the race did get dropped, but around halfway through the race, uh, there was a big crash, so the race got neutralised, and most of those guys ended up getting back on. There was a number of crashes through the race. I think it was just a case of like, you know, first first race of the year for most of the guys. Everyone's still starting to find their feet again, um, learning to ride in a racing bunch again, I guess. And also because there wasn't lo like loads of wind, uh, the bunch wasn't really strung out. We were quite quite bunched together. So yeah, that probably could have always also contributed towards the the number of crashes. For me personally, I just spent the day trying to stay as far front as possible, like towards towards the front, and not get caught behind any of the crashes, which I managed to do uh, last lap. I was in the front group. Uh, and like the, the run into the finish was quite a technical run in. It was like a couple of roundabouts and then the last 90 degree turn was 300 meters to go. So, you know, I didn't want to take any mad risk today. I got around in the front bunch and about 500 meters to go. I just sat up and then rolled in with the back of the bunch. I just wanted to stay upright and I didn't want to take any risks and risk my life for, for you know, a top 20 or a top 30 position on, on day one. I'd rather just stay safe, think about my legs, and then we go again tomorrow. Jake was involved in a crash, so he didn't, didn't finish today. Uh, Alfie punctured early on when the race was was on, when the gas was on, so he didn't manage to get back in the bunch. But the rest of the boys finished in the same group as I did, so yeah, we're all looking good. Everything Everything's looking good, and, and hopefully no one's too tired and we can have a good day tomorrow. So a few of us rode back, it was around 20k, we just wanted to put the day up to 100 miles. But Roundy's already here washing the bikes. How are the bikes looking mate, all good? Yeah, all good. <laughs> Not too dirty today, pretty dry day, so it's a little bit of dust to wash off. What's the plan, just give them, give them a wash over, a quick check? Yeah, still get the full treatment. So a bit of degrease around the brakes and the gears. Full wash down here, nut and bolt check. Put away, ready for the next day. You are good to us, Roundy. Uh, yeah, it was all right. Not too bad. Um, Felt pretty avoided good. All the crashes. Yeah, a lot of crashes, real sketchy, twitchy. But uh, yeah, good to do it. Uh, first stage done. How'd you finish? Yeah, not bad. Thought I was going to go yeah, for a sprint, but luckily. What was, the, what was the wind like? Oh, it's windy. Tried to try following you, Cam, all day. <laughs> Should I sit in behind you if I have cams there? I'll be safe. So it turns out I was that tired last night, I forgot to film an outro. Yeah, it's the following day and this is the end of today's video. Apologies for the shorter vlog, still just trying to find my feet again with these with these race videos. Um, but yeah, hopefully we're gonna improve from here. Today was generally an all-round good day. We go again tomorrow. 
Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m.